Hey guys, welcome to another server miner tutorial and today it's how to create your own custom mod pack and install it on your server. So first of all, we're going to want to go to the Twitch app and download it. Uh, we've used this in the past for other tutorials, so you might already have it. So go ahead and click download, install it and then log in. Go ahead and open it and you will be on this page. So up at the top, we can see we are logged in. And then if we go to the top left and click mods, we can go ahead and go to Minecraft. So once we're in Minecraft, we will see any mod packs that we have created. So I've been playing around with this. I've created these two and they each contain an, um, a couple of random mods and they are on a random version as well. So to create a brand new one, what we need to do is create custom profile and we're going to need to give it a name. So let's go ahead and call it, I don't know, server miner two, for example. And then we can go ahead and choose which version we want. So this would depend on uh, whatever mods we want. So some mods are updated to the latest version of Minecraft. Some are pretty outdated. It just depends. So we're going to leave this on for simplicity. Uh, but obviously there is a lot to choose from depending on mods. So go ahead and click OK. And that will create your new one. So if we click on it here, uh, Server Miner 2, we can see that it's completely empty. There are no mods in it at the moment. So what we need to do is click Get Mods and that will take us to a list of all of the different mods. There is a humongous list, so many different ones, and we can choose any one we want. So let's go ahead and choose, I don't know, Tesla Core, for example, uh, Forestry and Thalmcraft. So you can pick as many as you want. Um, let's just go with those three and they should install pretty quickly. Go ahead and click back and you can see the page has changed. It now lists all of the different mods that have been installed. Um, and if you want to get rid of one or hide it, you can hide it on the left and then delete it on the right, like so. Simple as that. So once we've done this, we now have it on our Twitch app, but we don't have it on our server. So we need to go to the top right hand corner to the three dots, click on this and we need to export the profile. So you will need to give it a name, um, choose a version, so don't worry about that, and then click OK. So this will turn it into a .zip file, which you can upload into your SMP control panel for your server to run on. So let's go ahead and save that somewhere. Easy as that, it will be created very, very quickly. So now that we've done that, we need to go back to our SMPitnik control panel so we can upload it. So here we are. What we need to do is go to installer on the left for our server. Um, you've obviously seen this before. You can choose different figure and craft bracket versions. You can also go down here and use curse and twitch, um, forge, etc. Uh, but what we need to do is go to build your own mod pack sort of halfway down the page and what we need to do is upload the zip file. So you can see I've uploaded two here. So go ahead and upload the .zip file and it should take maybe 20 seconds, depending on how big it is. Um, and it will say the file was uploaded successfully and you can see server miner two up here uh, was modified on the 17th of February today um, at four o'clock and we can click install mod pack. Now, similar to installing other mods, you can choose the Java version. Obviously, Java 8 always works the best. I've had trouble with different versions, uh, so 9 and 7 don't work too well. Um, and then we have a world. Do we want an existing world or a new world? And then we can install it. So depending on how many mods you chose, um, it might take a couple of minutes, might take 10 minutes. Uh, but as you can see, it's installing, ex extracting, um, and doing lots of different things. And once this is done, your server will be ready to jump into. So if you do have any questions about this, uh, leave a comment down below. You can always check out our Discord, which we've recently created. Um, if you need help with this or anything else, uh, if you want to look at more plugin tutorials, there'll be a link in the description. And if you want to buy a server, you can go to serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. Uh, but that will be it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.